Okay. So we're already on the water. Um, I did that because it was dark up until now. And I got tired of filming in that really bad lighting. But first off, I want to introduce you to the newest member aboard the boat. His name is Columbus. And he's a little camera shy, I guess. Then we got Jack back there. Here. Um, we're gonna go see how rough it is. If it's not rough, we might go offshore looking for some yellowfin. If not, we're gonna go do some bass fishing. So either way, it's a win-win for you guys. Uh, stay tuned and I'll catch you guys later. One of the many perks of coming out here is this retard trying to film. <laughs> He's got the new Hero 5. We're gonna see how it works. But, no. What I actually turned this on for was the sunrise. Because it's very pretty. Okay, I'm checking in like I said I would. So it's 12.30ish, give or take now. And we are on the front side of Catalina here. Because out there, it was really freaking rough. They're calling for like, Eight miles an hour of wind, like foot, two foot swell. It's blowing right now. My jacket is soaking wet. Um, no fish. And yeah, it sucked. So now we're bass fishing. We'll see what we get. <laughs> I finally get to start fishing. If I don't hit a rock. <laughs> I thought I had a follow. <laughs> Classroom. Uh, that's a fish. It's tiny. Got a kelp at first. It wasn't fighting when I hooked it. Oh, I got a follower. Look at it. Oh. First blood, baby. Uh, second blood. First blood for me. Hey, hey, come. <clears throat> come the fuck down. <laughs> He really hooked himself with all three freaking hooks. Yeah, that's why I think he's tied around there. Because you got some beefy ass fucking. Bigger than my fucking iron. Bigger than my fucking iron. Where'd my pliers go? Oh, there they are. I need to think of pliers. Oh, I have two good sets of uh, fucking sliders. Dykes? Dykes, yeah. Yeah, they come in handy. Oh, I lost an eye. Oh, dude, these things, these things are trooper. This thing's been to hell and back. Let's not beat the shit, it's just seen. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? I need to fucking tighten my drag down more, man. These little ones, these little ones are fucking. 
Oh, say bye to that freaking iron. Woo! Bye. This one for the blooper reel right there. Yeah? Oh, yeah, in the wheel. Oh, wow. It's one of those, huh? Yeah, that's nice. Well, grab another rod. <laughs> it's cold. I need to re-spool this shit. <laughs> I think I'm going to buy, like, a bulk spool. A fucking, like, 50-pound eyes on All right, guys. Um, the day's come to an end. I think it's like three o'clock. I haven't actually checked the time, but it's still. It doesn't look windy right here because we're behind the island, you know, um, and it's all sheltered. But it's gonna be a rough ride home. But oh well. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I don't have much to say right now. I'll uh, have more for you once we get back to the dock. If you make it back alive. guys so I was going through some of the video last night and realized that I never talked about anything that I was using or what we were doing so I'm doing that now um, in the morning we went offshore um, we we're fishing live bait mostly for the looking for the tuna um, didn't really see anything um, the few stops that we made were on kelp patties um, you get the basic idea from the video if you've never fished kelp patties before what to do. Um, I was fishing 20 pound um, floral leader and a number two circle hook I believe. Might have been one out. Um, I don't remember. <clears throat> Excuse me. But that didn't last long because it got too rough. I didn't want to be out in that stuff. So we made our way over to Catalina Island to do some calico bass fishing. For that, the main bait, um, I know Jack caught one. I might not have got it on camera. I gotta find it first. Um, he cut his on service iron, ah, which I was throwing for a little bit. Um, here's what I was throwing. It's a Kicker 25 Light. I like kickers. Um, they always, most of the time, have a good swim. This one has caught some fish, as you can see. Um, this colorway I really like for calicos. It's um, mimics the senorita fish which live in the kelp um, does really good in lower light conditions too <clears throat> early morning but even blue bird blue skies um, sunny day out it still works um, but on those days I more often switch to like a mint color um, mimic some of the schmelt and stuff that they feed on so that's that um, I won't go into 
really the rods and stuff that I was throwing all this stuff on because I could spend too much time on that. Um, I'll just put, I'll put that in the description so you can just look at it. Um, the second bait that I actually caught my two fish on was this Lucky Craft. Oh, yeah, there we go, okay. Um, Lucky Craft 130 is the sardine color. Um, and one thing I do recommend with these, um, Lucky Craft makes some great baits. Um, the one thing I do recommend is upgrading the hooks on these, on the 130 and the 150. Um, just because some of these bigger calicos are really strong. And I've bent quite a few hooks. So now I upgrade to very beefy hooks. It doesn't affect the bait's action at all. Um, it becomes more of a suspending rather than a floating bait, which I like better. Um, but yeah, so this um, is a really good bait for the calicos. Um, one of my top three baits. And again, rod and reel will be in the description. All right, so next, um, we will go with this, which you didn't see me throw at all, I don't think. I didn't catch anything on it, I didn't throw very much. Um, but this is just a simple big hammer, five and a half inch, and a Warbaits weedless head. Um, Warbaits makes awesome heads, I love them. The weed guard is not too thick, not too stiff, not too long, you know, you don't have to worry about trimming it. It's just right when you buy it. Um, and swim baits, I mean, there's different manufacturers. I like Big Hammer, I've always used them. Um, but Pro Swim Baits also make some good ones. Um, Recon Baits, I think, there's quite a few guys that make them. Um, I was sticking with the uh, Bait Fish colorway today. Yesterday, I guess, not today. Um, they've been biting it pretty well. However, now that we're in fall, getting into the winter months, um, the browns and reds work a lot better. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, line on all this, I use 50 pound braid um, to like a like five foot, um, 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. Um, 30 pound, I just, is plenty strong enough for me. I like the way the knots tie better and everything rather than 40 or 50, which some guys fish. Um, but that's that.